let's get straight into it. Link against BDC. We have been in a downwards trend. Link is one of the very, 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 very few coins, right? If you were to tell me uh, three coins that uh, more likely than not should be returning to its all-time high, the three coins will be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink. So I think eventually you're going to see Chainlink break above the skinny pink line. We're still in a downwards trend. We're under the skinny pink line. We are within the confines of the falling channel. Uh, the question we ask is when will the move be where we go above the resistance line? When? Okay, we're not entirely sure. Uh, is there a possibility that we could still head lower? Yes, of course. Uh, how would it, yeah, again, if we start seeing mountains right over here, we noticed that there were mountains and eventually it broke lower, right? And it was a continuation down, down. Yeah, so again, could we still get, yeah, we could get mountains here. After we get mountains here, we could still head lower, right? To another stage uh, towards the downside, right? Um, again, at the same time, you can also argue that this is something like an ascending that's completing as we head higher, potentially, yes. Uh, but again, we're not entirely sure. So, yeah, again, for Link BDC, it's just we are just not entirely you know, sure. But we know that more likely than not, eventually we're going to break higher. Link against USDT. Here we are for Chainlink. Um, any clear signs of a reversal? No. All we know is that this is a very clear accumulation level. Uh, we were like, hmm, what is this? Right? You can see this in both perspectives from a bullish lens and also from a bearish lens from the bearish side of things this looks like mountains right we zip lower took out everybody's top sell and then we push it higher it's like hey yo bro what's happening and then after that uh, we zip lower again so it's like hey yo bro at the same time you can also see valleys 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 yeah they, this could be a bullish reversal i, I suspect that the chaining wheels are waiting for bdc to start a bull run first before Chainlink starts going up, right? Uh, but of course, Chainlink could also go up by itself. But again, we're not entirely sure. So we're um, proceeding very, very cautiously because we know that uh, this could still be another level lower, right? This could be five waves towards the downside. One, two, three, four, five. And you can argue this is already five, but uh, it's not exactly that significant. So I, uh, again, I suspect something like this could happen if we get mountains right if we get mountains but at the same time uh, we could also start breaking towards the upside absolutely possible so again we are, we are proceeding uh, with caution uh, for chain link we don't have any clear targets yet right so yeah we're, we're proceeding very cautiously but if you were to ask me right uh, from an accumulation standpoint would six dollars and eighty cents be a good area to be accumulating yeah i think anything under ten dollars is great for the long run, for the long term, anything under 10 should be great. Is there a possibility uh, that we could fall mountain ranges and we still head lower? Of course, possibly to $4, right? If there's a real true breakout, if Bitcoin starts zipping down, Link is very likely going to follow lower. So is there a possibility that we hit to 4, maybe even 3? Yes, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. So again, well, we're not entirely sure. This is not what I would consider as a bottom. Not confirmed yet. So... Yeah, again, we're, we're trading very carefully with Chainlink. As much as we like Chainlink, uh, I think it's wise uh, to be very careful. But again, if you want to consider accumulating, I think anything under 10 would be great. $6, $5, $4, or $3, or $2, $7. Yeah, it's for the long run, I think Chainlink eventually is going to break into triple digits. So single digit to triple digit would be a 10x. Eventually, eventually. But the, there is a difference uh, in the sense that if let's say you start uh, buying things, you know, let's say your average is $6.80. If we go to, let's say, $100, this will be an 11x. If we were to drop towards, let's say, uh, I don't know about real. Okay, let's put it at $4, right? $4.04. And if we were to head towards uh, triple digits, this will be a... 24x versus an 11x right it's twice more but again again we're, we're not entirely sure so we're gonna proceed with caution right